All right, the fourth and final video in this saga of y equals mx plus b. We started with the uh, long 15-minute one of the lesson, and now this is the third practice video for a total of four. Going to have three problems on this one. Why don't you go ahead and pause, hit pause, and copy this first problem down. Make sure you're very accurate copying this line down. Be precise copying the line. Pause it. All right, let's get you to copy down the second problem here. In fact, let's get second and third problem together. Can you do it? There we go. Copy those down. The second problem has you uh, filling in a partial data table, then graphing it, writing the equation, finding slope intercept. Problem three gives you the equation, and you do everything else. So when you've got them copied down, go ahead and pause this whole thing. Do those three problems. When you come back, I'll have the answer key. Have fun. Welcome back. Let's work through these live, including mistakes, which I haven't made one yet today. Let's see how this works. This first one, you get the line, you're supposed to find the slope and the y-intercept. There's the y-intercept, which is at 0, positive 2. From there, I can see here's another Right. another intersection where lines cross. That means that's another point on the line that's going to have whole numbers. We like that. If I make a slope triangle, then I can have the slope of that line. It goes up 2 and to the right 4. So the slope is up 2 over 4. Can that be simplified? Yes! One half. So to write the equation, I need that and I need that. Y equals slope intercept. That's it. Hey, you should definitely uh, download my song called Y equals MX plus B. It's the best. It has all this information in it in song form, okay? Anyway, that's the answer to this first problem. Mega math. Problem two. Graph it, write the equation, find the slope and the y-intercept. Hey, the y-intercept is right here. Let's see, what should I do next? How about the slope? Remember, this is an x, y table, and slope is the change in y over the change in x. So according to my table here, x changed by 2, and during that period when x changed by 2, y changed by 1. Make sure I got that right, because sometimes when that x is on top over here and it's on bottom over here, slow down, double check your work. x changed, it went up 2. During that period, y also went up by positive 1. Okay, that's the slope. Slope is 1 half. So we can write the equation, y equals m for slope x plus b, b is a constant, and it doesn't change, and it represents the y-intercept. I could write that better. There we go. Either way works. Either way is correct. I just like to have as few things as possible when I'm done. Okay? There's the y-intercept, 
at 0, negative 1. Then we're going to go up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. Up to the right. Remember, over really means to the right. A la derecha. Did it. Graphed it, wrote the equation, found the slope, found the y-intercept, all based on the table. And the third and final problem, bringing this to a close, the slope. What's the slope? That's the slope. We can call that negative 3 over 1 if you want to. Y-intercept is right there, represented by the ordered pair, 0, 2. Now we have room over here to graph it, I hope. Let's see how well I planned the space. Y-intercept is 0, positive 2. Goes there. Slope is down 3 and right 1. 2, 3, 1. Down, 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 right. Okay. There it is. How did you do? What was your answer? Are we the same? No, we're all different, but we can get all the same answers, though. Hope that worked out for you, and I hope these videos help. And we'll see you around. Thank you so much. Bye.